So apparently all these politicians and corporations who've gone completely woke, pro-climate change agenda, they all now believe that we're going to die in eight months' time. I don't know, I think you have to keep checking. It's like five years, sometimes it's two years, sometimes 12 months. Apparently they're not enough for Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg and her gang, who keep pushing for hardcore climate agenda, they want to bring down the whole of the, the, the Western lifestyle, capitalism, democracy, the way we actually live our lives, they don't really say much about China, which is quite interesting, I'm not really sure. She's attacking just in the Arden of New Zealand. The one government in the world that's gone too far with this green agenda, and then you're going to have Canada after New Zealand and all the others. I mean, of course, even the British government, Boris Johnson, everybody else gone slightly woke on this sort of issue, but just in the Arden has gone way too far. Apparently, according to um, Greta Thunberg, that's not enough. She's not doing anything about climate change. This is a quote. She's not doing anything about climate change. She said that, uh, Greta said, it's funny that people believe just Jacinda Ardern and people like that are climate leaders. What? I mean, have you seen what New Zealand's government have done, especially over the last couple of years? This is the same people who've gone completely woke and they are completely destroying the system that the market economy that created the Western civilization. But Greta says that obviously the emissions have, have been fallen. Uh, yeah, they yeah. have. Uh, it goes without saying that these people are not doing anything. Okay? In a previous article, uh, Thunberg also singled out New Zealand as one of the world's worst performers on emissions increases. Again, China, Greta, China, and even India. Just go talk to them. You know, I, I mean, this is a good, a good challenge. If Greta goes to Saudi Arabia and starts talking about green agenda and hugging trees, see what they do about that. Because if, they, if she really wants these politicians to do something about climate change, then maybe talk to those who don't do anything about it, if you think that your values are right. But just in the Arden, you can see in the photo, she's signed up to the World Economic Forum's uh, agenda. We'll be building back better, according to Jacinda. That's the same Jacinda Arden who brought in the Greens into her government, the Green Party. She did an agreement, a cooperation agreement with the Green Party, just like a uh, Nicola Sturgeon in the SNP, who did an agreement with the Green Party to bring him into the fold. But apparently that's not enough. New Zealand, Andrew Sinder Arden are the same people who declared a climate change emergency. I mean, even though it was unnecessary at the time, but they did it anyway. They said, oh, we're going to go crazy until 2025. Because people like Greta don't like this 2050 target. They say that we have to do it now. Well, Jacinda wants to do it by 2025. What's the problem? The issue is, people like Greta are never going to be happy because it's not about, about her, it's the people behind her who are running the main agenda. This is a speech that she made yesterday. There is no planet B. There is no planet blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, I'm going to give credit to Greta Thunberg and the, the people behind her because she stands out. Um, if you haven't seen the speech, obviously, <laughs> check out Twitter. The, the full, full speech is there. But the whole point of it is that she attacks politicians, because there are politicians at that conference who signed up to the Building Back Better agenda and everything else. She says that's not enough. But I'm going to say why I'm going to give her some sort of credit to her. Just watch this again. Expensive, politically correct, green act of bunny hugging or blah, blah, blah. Build back better, blah, blah, blah. Green economy, blah, blah, blah. Net zero by 2050. <laughs> She's not happy about 2050, again, just, just like many others on her side. This is quite interesting because um, what's the last thing you remember of Greta Thunberg? How dare you? That speech. Yes, that turned into a lot of memes and gifs and jokes, of course. But we all remember. We all know who Greta Thunberg is. She's a genius, and people around her, of course, people who helped her with her you know, speeches and all these agendas, they stand out. There are politicians at these conferences. They stand up, you know, talk nonsense as usual. She stands up, says blah, 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 and people clap like sheep, and she stands out. So, well done, Greta Thunberg, and people around her, because, you know, at least they get noticed. But she gets noticed. What's the problem? Why is she still angry? Politicians have already signed up to this agenda. Corporations are signing up, celebrities are signing up, everybody basically gone woke, the education system gone woke, media, everything's gone woke. According to Greta Thunberg, no one's doing anything about it. What do they want? 
they want to bring down our way of life. They want to bring down capitalism. They want to completely introduce a control system, which, you know, whatever you want to call it, you could call it socialism, Marxism, you could call it, you know, authoritarianism. That's what it is. It's all statism. It's all about using a centralized system to tell people what to do, what to dress, how to dress, what to eat, how to walk, and what to say. That's exactly how you're going to save the trees. Otherwise, in the next eight months, we're all going to die, according to people like Greta Thunberg. Now, if you want to support the channel and continue uh, help us continue the work that we do every day, then go to my2c.co.uk. You can sign up the membership and get access to the premium content that we do. Or you can find the PayPal link in the description box right now.